So how, how would you define an awakened company? What would be your definition of an awakened company? <clears throat> Well, an awakened company, by the way, you use that phrase, it's, it's going to be, I think the question is, what are they awakened to? Mm -hmm. And uh, that there's some kind of purpose, yeah. some kind of purpose that resonates. And so when a company says that, you know, our purpose is to maximize shareholder value while being good to the community, while we make the best widgets around, uh, that's not really a sense of purpose. That isn't really connecting to some greater good. It doesn't mean that that you can't make widgets, but, but I think it goes back, it goes back to that. Why? So an awakened company is going to have some sense of a vision or value that is bigger than themselves. There's some connection to something that is, uh, that is purposeful and greater. And I have this conversation with a lot of clients, a lot of companies, a lot of nonprofits and especially nonprofits, they, they will be quick to tell you what they're doing and it, it may be good work, but it's powerful work when they can say, Something like, you know, we believe that all youth have the potential to live fulfilling lives. The challenge is they, they may not have access to the components that will give them a rich life. And so we want to help them with that access. And then that's a powerful way to start talking about whatever it is they do. So an awakened company will always have some connection to some sense of purpose or, or, or community value or nature value that is going to be bigger than them. And it doesn't matter whether they're making widgets or cleaning clothes, but there's going to be some greater sense of purpose, which is going to drive that company. Mm, definitely. Do you, in the future, do you see um, organizations being mainly social organizations, social enterprises, not for profits or for profits? How do you see, do you see a shift at all? Well, there is something that are called B Corps or benefit corps. And so those are a combination. They have both a sense of purpose and, and a need for profitability. I mean, we say at the bank, uh, even though we're mission oriented in many ways, uh, no margin, no mission. So no, no profit, no purpose. These things aren't going to work unless you're generating resources uh, to grow and, and carry on. Uh, you can't always live on, most people, even nonprofits can't live mostly on, uh, on receiving donations. So there has to be an element of profitability. It's just how do we get there? Are we walking over other people? Are we standing at the top of a pyramid? Or are we in a circle of, of interdependence, uh, which reflects the community and the, and the natural world around us? So yes, on vision and purpose, but also yes, there needs to be some profitability. And the Benefit Corporation, which is now in many states, they've passed Benefit Corporation laws. Uh, I think that's, that's a trend that's, that's new and growing rapidly. Mm -hmm.